Hello everyone and welcome to my channel. Just wanted to make this quick video on how to solve double scenery or duplicate scenery issue that might show up after the world update install. Since the new world update is out, I'm pretty sure a lot of people might be facing these uh, these issues. Uh, if you have add-on sceneries interfering with the MSFS scenery. Uh, before I get into the topic, please make sure you like and subscribe. Uh, I work full time and uh, barely get time to make these videos. This is a non-monetized channel. So I would highly, highly appreciate if you guys could leave a like on the video and subscribe to the channel. It will help a lot with my motivation to make these videos. Even if not, Thank you for watching at least. All right, onto the topic. Let's go to the profile page here and let's go to content manager and you will be welcomed pretty much with this screen, which is a list view of uh, everything that's installed and not installed, right? What I would like you to first do is uh, click on this box right here so that you get into the package view, right? So now you'll have all the packages that you have installed in the simulator. Now, whichever airport is in question here, for example, the airport is from United Kingdom and Ireland uh, world update, right? So you would, you, you would come to that world update and you would not click on it because that will only give you an option to delete the whole world update, which we don't want that. We just want to delete that one airport that MSFS has installed and that's interfering with my add-on airport, right? So I would click on this list view, right? And then I would go at the top or wherever that airport is because there, there won't be a lot of things installed in a, in, a, in a world update. So let's say I have that problem happening at EGGP, right? Which is Liverpool John Lennon Airport. I would select that airport and delete it from here. What that would do is that would delete the default Microsoft airport that is that is installed in the simulator and that will give your add-on airport the first priority. I'm sure there are other ways to do this. Uh, I'm sure there are other ways where you can go into the development mode and change priorities and stuff. That's too much for me. I've tried that, I'm too old for that. Uh, I, I couldn't figure out what those values priorities were and all that so i was like let's just use this simple method you don't really need two airports this will clear out a lot of space in your uh, sim as well so yeah just just go ahead and delete every airport that you have the add-on airport to um from this menu out here anyway that was it for this video like i said i would highly appreciate your support on this channel if you can and i will see you on the next video